All right, folks. All right. Let's discuss about Terra Luna Classic. Global has actually burned $1 billion in Mexico in just 11 days. However, let's discuss something else today, specifically the tumultuous reaction. The horrible team claims that the pure bashed out like on the classic blockchain is unaffiliated with Terraform Labs in any way. Many have speculated that the announcement that Terraform Labs and TFL will be disbanding Luna Classic represents the greatest cryptocurrency comeback ever, waiting for the market to begin its upward trend. And so, the rapid shift from KIA to K6, implemented by the game's original core developer team, actually did portend something. This blockchain system operates autonomously from Terra Foundation. Luna this individual previously worked for Parkland Luna Classic and also for Luna 2. Their point, though, is that the Terra Rebels have developed something self-sufficient on the blockchain. It has everything it needs already. The necessary validators are present. The validators are the network of people who maintain the integrity of the blockchain. In order to interact with the blockchain without resorting to the combat light, the Terra Foundation has developed the necessary tools. Consequently, there are steps they must take if they intend to participate in the blockchain's development. We're making progress toward complete autonomy. There was no Terra Foundation or lunar material left after the war. It would be fine for us. It would be uncomfortable for many. But the blockchain would still function, and the assets would be safe. This has resulted in a 50% price decline for Terra Classic, as evidenced by current market sentiment. Due to this, her Luna Classic score plummeted from 0.5 to 0.25. Well, that's only half the story. There have been many claims that the Terra Foundation and all of its resources were destroyed in Korea. And as a result, the whale spirit or whales panicked. This is because the old Terra team and Terra Rebels wanted to take the blame for this. And if the Terran Rebels dot and the Luna 2.0 crew were to all show there. So, this is something we need to consider. Terra Rebels, which launched and revitalized the Terra Classic chain and Luna 2, are two examples. So, that's the winning team right there. Before moving on to Luna 2.0, users were on Luna Classic. And if 2.0 is going to cause some problems, I don't see why I should stick with Luna Classic. I admire the idea because it would make a lot of people's lives easier without jeopardizing the security of their assets or the functionality of the blockchain. What the Terra is doing is exactly what it ought to be doing. Classic, huge, decentralized, with all the big stuff hammered out by validators. Finally, the terrifying steam has ensured the safety of both Terra Foundation and Terra Luna Classic. The work would be more challenging, but not impossible, to complete. And they even mention that they are trying to resolve this issue. That being said, my future wish is that Terra Rebels and Awful the Classic will have so many uses that they will develop themselves and no one will ever have to work on them again. When that happens, it becomes genuinely like Ethereum which Ethereum yeah. While it does employ programmers, it may eventually have so many apps and so many platforms that it can fend for itself. It may be modified both independently and by other developers, with the knowledge of its history being passed down down the generations. However, that is the primary explanation. Terra could see a lot of action and significant usage in the coming days. Seeing as how we still have to see go to the birds, which is expected to burn billions, I don't believe the horrible in the classic has been eliminated. Make sure it's hammered out quickly if you want similar results, but until next time, I'll keep you posted on the latest developments in bird use. War and peace are inseparable.